So today we have yet another lithium battery mystery. These two batteries came from different suppliers and they have different ratings, but they are the exact same size. So check this out. This is from Aruksu from last week and this is 100 amp hours. And this is from a random distributor called Orient Power and this is 75 amp hours. But you'll notice that they are the exact same battery size. Like check this out. The height the length, the width, everything is the same. The only way that you can differentiate the two is that these have smaller terminal studs and these ones are pretty beefy. So it is quite possible that they're advertised correctly, but how are they the exact same size when they have such a different capacity? I mean, just energy density wise, that would just mean that these are pushing the limits of physics for this chemistry, we have actual standardized energy densities. And if this has true capacity, it's off the charts or someone's over exaggerating. And if you guys have been watching this channel long enough, we have found a lot of battery manufacturers over exaggerating their capacity claims. So we are going to weigh them and do some tests and figure out if this is truly a 100 amp hour battery, because if it is, this is like the best energy density and form factor on the market. It's practically the same weight as this one. And one of our viewers or subscribers named Jim, who's been on the forum and watching these videos for a long time, actually sent me a scale. So we have an accurate scale to assess the different weights of these batteries. So first we zeroed out the scale and let's do the 75 amp hour cells first. And these cells are 7.52 kilograms. And now we have the 100 amp hour cells and they are 7.92 kilograms. And if we jump on Wikipedia, the specific energy for this chemistry is 90 to 110 watt hours per kilogram. And that is true across most of my battery testing. So we're gonna use the best case scenario of 110 watt hours per kilogram. And if we calculate that out, we will have 827 watt hours over here and 871 watt hours over here, which is a very different number than what these are rated for. This one is rated for 960 watt hours and this one is rated for 1,280 watt hours. And if these are actually true capacity, that means that some of these aluminum cased lithium iron phosphate cells have insane energy density. They are off the charts. And just to ensure that my scale in the energy density formula works, I took a 40 amp hour cell. It's rated for 128 watt hours, which I have verified on multiple occasions. It was 1.47 kilograms. I multiplied it by 90 watt hours per kilogram and we get 132. So these are very heavy cells, but they have true capacity and they are consistent with the Wikipedia energy density reference, which I've been using for a long time. It goes 90 to 110 watt hours. So that means that the scale and the formula are correct. So I don't know what is going on over here. We have to test them out. And we have a four cell lithium iron phosphate BMS by DALI. And then we have a balance lead. So we're gonna hook it up to these batteries. And these are batteries, so I'm gonna wear protection glasses. And now the battery charger is connected and we're gonna wait till this is filled up. So this battery is fully charged and the cell voltages are at 3.6. Now we're doing the capacity test and we're doing it at a 0.2 C rate. So we have an accurate assessment of the capacity. Exactly 100 amp hours, you guys. What an amazing test. That is so cool. That is amazing. And this is why I do it, guys. This is so cool. We actually got perfect results. So if we take 1,295 watt hours and we divide it by 7.92 kilograms, we get a specific energy of 163 watt hours per kilogram. That's practically the same specific energy as many NMC variants. That is crazy. That is incredible. We need to find out where they bought these cells. And if you're new to this channel and you're completely lost as to why I'm excited, let's talk about this for a second. NMC is the most common variety, but it only has 500 charge cycles and you can boost it up to like a thousand or 2000. These go like 3000 to 10,000 charge cycles, depending on how you cycle them in the ambient temperature. That means that you can now have a specific energy lithium iron phosphate that is the same as NMC variants. That is crazy. That means you could make like a rechargeable bicycle battery 
and use one of these. And as long as they can handle the discharge current of your bicycle, you could actually have a battery that lasts way longer than an NMC battery. Like this is so cool. What's a big bummer is Ruxu cheaped out on the BMS, but man, these are really nice cells. I'm gonna find out where they got them from I'm gonna to try to post a link below. But now we actually need to test out these cells and hopefully we can hit the same numbers that we hit with this one. So now we're just charging these batteries up and I'll come back in like five hours and then do the test. So day three of testing and we are going to do the final capacity test. Rated for 75 amp hours, let's see how many we can get. And because this is a 75 amp hour battery, we're gonna pull around 15 amps, 13 is the closest I can get. So this will take like five hours, so we'll come back to it. Where are we at? 966 watt hours, guys, 75.6 amp hours. So these did really well too, but they're not as light as these ones. But I have tested these before and I do not like these bus bars, just a personal preference. Also these terminal studs are really small, but it passed the capacity test. So these are true to capacity and these are true to capacity. What a lovely surprise. So what did we learn today? We learned that I was completely wrong. I thought that for the weight and for the data sheet specifications for lithium iron phosphate, that this would not perform as well as it did, but it did, it worked so well. But the big problem about these is that it's sold by Ruxu. And after they swapped out components on that drop-in, I do not trust that company and I dislike any company that does that. So I'm gonna post a link below, but before you click on it, I want you guys to try to find these cells yourself because I actually asked them and I have a model number. So check this out. They are created by Great Power Battery, and I think they're based in Shenzhen. They make a lot of batteries for lots of drop-in solutions, by the way. So check out what they have, you'll be pretty amazed. But you can't buy these batteries directly from them unless you buy like a hundred of them. Anyways, the product model code for this specific cell is GSP3413521. 3521415F. So if you guys find that, please post it below in the comment section. I would love to find a distributor and I can't. So right now, Ruxu is the only one that sells it as a kit and they sell it for $520 for a 100 amp hour battery, which is really cheap and really good. And every single battery cell I've gotten from Ruxu has been perfect, but who knows what they're gonna do next or what they're gonna send you. I am just so fed up with battery manufacturers lying to me. So that is not cool. But there are some things that I dislike about it. So first of all, with a Sino poly cell, you can use hose clamps and build a battery in a couple minutes. For this one, you have to use tape and you have to kind of make your own case around it. And even though these are lightweight, they don't have their own case. So you're gonna to have to actually build one. Next thing I dislike is that these bus bars are wire. The new Ruxu listing actually has metal bus bars, which I don't know why they don't have it on this one, but they have it on the new listing. And that's about all I dislike. I don't think there's anything else. It would be interesting to get the actual data sheet and I keep asking them and I still haven't gotten one. I would love to see what the cycle life testing is like on this. But yeah, really cool battery. This is incredible. Finding something this lightweight, as lightweight as NMC, look how small this is. So imagine if you had two of these or like eight cells in series for 24 volt battery, it would be about this big and you get like what, two and a half, a little over two and a half kilowatt hours and it will last like five to 10 times as long as other like NMC variants. So look at this, this is incredible and it's non-flammable. So yeah, I wanna see more of these. You know what would be really cool would be to get 16 of these and use that new BMS that I tested. And I've been testing that thing for the last three months outside in my solar shed and it's been working perfectly. So you could actually have a very small but extremely powerful battery with these cells. And I dislike Ruxu, but they sell a good battery cell. So I don't know, half their products I absolutely hate, half their products are absolutely amazing. So I don't know what to feel about them. I can't find another distributor that has brand new Sinopolis in that condition and shipped how they ship it. So I don't know if I should even post links because I do and I, it's a love-hate relationship with them. So yeah, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about these cells. These are so cool. I mean, you could do so much with these. It's so yeah, I hope you guys like watching this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.